Somalis and Ethiopians aren't exactly the same. They both have the same type of African ancestry, which is native to Northeast Africa and is most similar to modern-day Nilotes. Another similarity is that they also have the same type of ancient Eurasian ancestry, which comes from the Natufians who migrated to East Africa from the Levant. The even admixture of native Africans and Natufians created the core of East African ancestry, but here is where they differ. The mix we mentioned earlier most likely produced Proto-Cushitic people who originated the Cushitic languages. But Ethiopian Habashas don't speak Cushitic, they speak Semitic languages. Their Semitic language is also distinct, and the only closest languages are the old South Arabian languages. That's because Habashas received additional Eurasian admixture from Sabaeans who were from modern-day Yemen. This is likely why they speak Semitic languages, and essentially, they're about 10 to 15 percent more Eurasian than Somalis. Meanwhile, Somalis are more African, as instead of receiving minor additional Eurasian admixture, they received minor additional African admixture instead.